Hello everybody, Artemis here. Welcome to Space Engineers. It's been a while. I'm sorry. Unless of course you're watching this in the future. And watching the episode sequentially. And there's been no lapse at all. For the rest of you, I'm sorry. Um, yeah. I will try to talk more about the why later in the episode, if I remember. But I'm going to try to get back into recording. I'm going to try to get at least one episode out a week. I do really, I still really want to play this game. And I still really want to complete all the stuff we've been working on. And look forward to all the stuff coming in the future. So just got to find the time to get back into it. So yeah, hopefully that. I've been streaming a bit l lately. And I'm going to try to stream some more. And probably stream a lot of the uh, behind the scenes footage for the episodes. So between episodes I might get a stream in and do a bunch of work. And then in the episode, we'll kind of showcase what happened in the stream. So if you don't have time to do the streams, because they are long, I will post them on YouTube. But again, they are longer than an episode. So usually over an hour, an hour or two. So that can be a long time. And they're usually just... It's a lot of spread out information. So it's not... It's two hours of slow stuff. So probably best if it's just background. Background noise. If you're doing something else, you could watch those in the background. But... Probably not something you want to sit there and pay full attention to without falling asleep. I really like the new cockpit um, texture. I was hoping we'd get some reflective or even clear, but that looks nice. Much better than the like the matte finish it was, I think. So yes, this is Tortwing's accessory. We worked on a bit in the stream, the previous stream. And then I did a whole bunch more afterwards. So a lot of this is post-stream. I'm not sure about it. It looks a little weird from the back with the thrusters and stuff, but could do the trick. Uh, there have been some changes. So this thing has two large reactors, which I think should be enough. I'll do the math before we finalize. Um, in terms of mobility, it's good left to right. They're side by side and forward's good. But backing up, it's only got that one large thruster and, well, the other on the opposite side. So this is a um, symmetrical build down the center plane. So the top replicates the bottom for the most part. There's going to be some minor changes with the uh, merge block there. So that's how Tortwing will be able to come in and out. It will um, unmerge right there and undock there. Currently she's hard or built in, but we'll break her apart later. Uh, we can also make use of Tortwing's thrusters while we're in this. I think these are there's enough clearance here, I think. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, five. I'm pretty sure five's enough. This one would be four. We'll see. Um, whichever thrusters are not okay will create a grouping four, probably. So, like, these guys probably can't have on. I'll have to see. So, while Tortwing is docked in here, some of her thrusters will probably turn off. Uh, but we could use her rear ones. So we got those four small, four small. So that's eight small and two big. That's our, those are all of our rear ones. Let's see here. If we, um, ooh, oops. Where's our island? There it is. Just need a frame of reference. Otherwise, we can't really tell how fast we're moving. Okay. So yeah, forward, we should be pretty good. But things have been changed. So power requirements, I think, for everything has gone up, or at least the thrusters. And they've increased the power of the large ship thrusters, uh, but not the small. Now, one thing we'll probably do when we're actually using this for welding is we'll have a group to turn off a lot of the thrusters. Oh, wow, yeah, this is slow. Um, especially in the back, so we're not, like, leaping forward. And I think someone mentioned testing out, like, a large, small ship welder. you got to be careful because you can easily just smash things when you're trying to get in close to weld or something. You get a lot of momentum going. So you can see going up and down is pretty slow. And that's because we only have those two thrusters, or four, I guess. We are using um, tort wings. Now, I'm not sure if thruster damage is on, so I can't, I'll can. i have to test that later to see. Oh, so slow. So we might want to find a place for some large thrusters maybe on the top. Um, I'm sure we could figure. I'm sure we can find something. But yeah, so that's how this is coming along. Not quite ready, but it's getting there. Might work on it again in a stream to finalize it. I'm not too sure. But let's go ahead and I think that's all we got to talk about. 
There's also been some inventory changes, but we'll go over those maybe in the real world. All right. We're back. One thing I do want to get done soon is get this thing sealed. That's another day. All right. So, we did some other work in the stream. I ran the wrong way. We did some work trying to get ready for some oxygen. Tortwing, catch me. All right. Yes, trying to get ready for some oxygen. I do want to get that enabled and turned on soon. So something else we did in the stream was this. We started a little oxygen farm. Uh, it's not working yet because auction is still disabled, but, oh God. So yeah, things are very sluggish. So Tortwing, for example, is very slow. And I think it's, I think I'm able to overload or maybe not, maybe only during, hmm, actually it might be okay. It might be okay. During the stream, we had to fix part of Tortwing. Um, my blueprints are always m messed up. So this one cargo container keeps rotating itself. Every time it breaks and gets replaced by the, the blueprint, it gets put in the wrong way. There's a port right there that goes up and feeds three extra small reactors. So those weren't being used for quite a while, but they should be reused now, I think. So yes, this is what we got going for our oxygen farm. And what we were thinking about doing um, is use these airtight hangar doors, the modded ones that we're using, the bigger ones. And we could have these actually come in and close and protect um, the oxygen farm. So this could be part of our ship, the exterior hull that would have panels that open up for the oxygen. And we could have them on all different sides. So depending on where the sun is, we'd always be getting some. It'd be very redundant, <laughs> uh, but maybe we'll see. Alternatively, we could just create a little oxygen ship for now, which was suggested during the stream. So that could be an option, like we don't need to have this part of the ship, and we tried to keep it kind of out of the way so that it wouldn't interfere with placement of other things, because I was going to build it there, but here's better, I think. So this, I figured, was good enough to start. Um, we're just going to trickle charge with oxygen. We won't worry about gathering ice right away, hopefully. Got a bunch of tanks there, so they should slowly fill up, and then it should take quite a while, I imagine, to get through them all. Set up this little test chamber some glass, um, a conveyor system that feeds a vent there, and I got two doors. I was told in the stream though that if you put two doors right beside each other, um, you don't need a vent. So that's interesting. I did not know that. I'm going to keep it like this for the test because uh, the purpose of this test is to figure out how to do the airlocks up here. So I haven't seen, I haven't looked up how to do a, a proper airlock or a nice simple way of doing it, but I know they did some changes recently. So I might try to figure that out. So there's some actions here on, so I think when it depressurizes, it creates an action. So, hmm, we'll play around. Um, I might look up um, some scripts though for oxygen that might help facilitate this. So I put up a program block here and I think what we'll do is throw up an LCD as well. Maybe a wide one just for, um, could put it inside. Why don't we put it right here? Can I put it there? I need construction components. Tortwing, I already forgot where I put you. All right. So slow. For now, we're not gonna do anything about how sluggish things are. We're just gonna wait and see how things pan out. There we go. All right. So with that there, we can maybe, we can see both inside and outside. So when we're in there, hopefully we can see through the glass. So I'll probably look on the workshop for a nice little script that we can put into here. Okay, I think I've got a script here. So let's go ahead and find these guys. Okay, I need that LCD action I just made. Uh, wide, to rename you. Okay, so that should work. Uh, we still have to activate oxygen, so that's what we're going to try to do today. Um, is activate the oxygen, see what happens, see if we can live. Um, I think either way, we should be good, even if we can't figure out the airlock. We should be able to pressurize this, hopefully, and live. 
and then maybe make some oxygen stuff no we'd probably need ice to do that did we no no if we have tanked oxygen i imagine we can make bottles okay anyway i digress all right so i don't know if we'll need sensors for the airlock probably to do it automatically because we'll want it so we can just walk through i think i'll set up a gravity generator too while we're working here so i don't have to fly around uh yeah in fact, let's put a gravity generator basically in the center of this so that we can actually walk on it <laughs> instead of flying around all the, all the time. So I would say we don't want it to interfere. I'm not going to make it very tall. I'm just going to make it like basically maybe two and a half meters, one block height. So if we put it over like here, diagonally somewhere, um, yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Remember when things worked? I do. Ah, you thought I was going to do it, didn't you? You thought I was going to leave it on. I almost did. Uh, that was close. Um. Slab A. Alright, so that's max. That's out 150 meters. That actually works out pretty good. That might be its final resting location. We might permanently keep one there in each sector. We might move it a bit if we need to. But that might be perfect for, like, when we replicate that. Like, if this is midline... Yeah, it goes past midline. So that's pretty good. We could even push it out further that way if we really want to. So that um, that edge meets up with the center line. All right. So we should be able to... Oh, we can walk. I should have done that a long time ago. I'm so sorry. Oh, look at that the gravity thing. Actual gravity and artificial gravity. Ooh. It'd be pretty cool, guys, I think. We get the planets and all that. This game is, I think, still going going places. All right. Oxygen. Okay, so we can walk. And did I make it at least big enough to encompass the oxygen room, since that was the purpose? I did. Hurrah. Okay. So, yeah, we might need to put some sensors, but we'll see. We'll see. Um, are we ready? Hopefully that generates enough oxygen quick enough that we don't die. Yes. Click. Okay, here we are. We started off with oxygen, so that's good. Uh, let's go in and close this door. Maybe close this one too. I don't really know how anything works with oxygen, to be honest. Oh yeah, I put gravity. Use it. Okay, oxygen none. Okay, it just went green. Um... Let's see here. Tank. Whoops. Filled 0%. So they aren't getting filled. Okay. Oh, refill bottles. Stockpile tanks will not get drained by air vents. Oh. Cool. Good to know. There's your problem. Sun's over there. Oh, I chose an inopportune time <laughs> to turn on oxygen. How are we doing? 88%. We'll be fine. The sun is rotating how fast? Well, we can turn it into a ship. Oh, God, that's not going to work. Okay, um... <laughs> oh, wait, look. It's going to gonna hit this guy soon <laughs> maybe which way is it going it's not moving fast enough oh uh, no wait I think it's going under the slab all right Oh. Okay, so here's the ones we just built. They are outputting some oxygen. Um, 
I did hook him up. <laughs> I thought. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, so this is isolated. Um, those oxygen farms over there aren't going to do us much good without tanks attached to the same conveyor system. So I may need to run a pipe and connect this guy up to our conveyor system before I die. Um, 43%. All right. I don't want to die. All right, which one of these shall we break? You. You are in the middle. There we go. We're going to die. Oxygen low. 24%. That's not the right key. Not going to make it. Although... The reason I don't think we're going to make it is we're going to run out of parts. Because Tortwing can't carry enough stuff. Oops. Let's make sure we don't smash you, though. That won't help the situation. Alright. Don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die. We did it! Maybe. Oops. Oh, stop it. I don't need those welded. Thanks, Tortwing. Alright. LCD. What do you have to say for yourself now? <gasps> it's filling. Average. 0 0.07. <laughs> Five seconds. Um. How. How do you. How do you fill up oxygen bottles? I got some. Um. Hmm. Oxygen. Do they go in a tank? They do. Okay. So I gotta find the uh, the tank that has stuff in it. Tank? Which one is filling up? Oh, they're all filling up. Um, let's not have you all fill up. Can I do that? 0.3, 0 0.2... Yeah, let's just try using one tank for now. That's not a lot of air. Auto refill. Okay, so, um... Refill bottles. Ah! Ooh. Okay. How much did that put in there? Oops. Sorry, you guys probably already know all this stuff. I'm learning. Um, tank? 1%. Give it. Give me. Oh, I can't take it through a door? <laughs> Who knew? 7.5%. Hmm. Hmm. Son? Now you're over there. Still not hitting my oxygen farm. And the back side might get some? Once the sun comes through here, <laughs> we'll be long dead by then. Staying alive, staying alive, oh, 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 staying alive. Hmm. gonna die. All because I didn't check the time of day in space. What a fool. Fool am I. A fool am I. Well, I think we're gonna <laughs> end it here, guys. We'll get that up and running. Um, I'll mess around a bit. Um, oh, sun's creeping over. Should hit those guys soon. But we'll probably be dead by then. Let's see if we can get another puff of air. 1.1%. Uh, oh no. Come here. Alright. 2% of air. Delicious. Mmm, yummy. Mmm, delicious oxygen. Now we have 3%. We'll live forever. No. Alright. Alright.
so we're going to say goodbye. Uh, I'm going to use this time, though, to talk to you guys about why there's been no episodes. If so if you're interested in that, stick around. If not, we'll see you next episode. So thank you for watching. And for those that are still here. Can I stand here? No. But I can dance and float. So yes, um, for those of you who are familiar with some of my personal information, <laughs> Um, I do suffer from like chronic pain. I had an injury where I uh, landed on my head in an awkward way, so I nearly kind of nearly broke my neck, kind of, but didn't. I just kind of sprained uh -oh, my spine. I sprained my spine. Um, as a result, I have a like, chronic headache. I've had a headache for five and a half years. Um, I still do, and it but it varies in severity. So usually, low health. Low health. Uh, usually when the headache is less is when I'm able to do things, Your like now. Is Going to die now. So yes, why there's been a lack of videos. So a lot of people may be concerned how I'm doing, so I appreciate that. And I'm actually doing better, so I could say that. So the reason there's been less videos is not that I'm doing poorly, although there are some hardships from time to time. Um, but overall, my health is improving, my pain is getting better, and I'm able to manage it better. So we should, hopefully, get to a point where I can get back to doing stuff. Oh yeah, I switched it so tools don't appear. So we actually have to make tools or replace them. We won't spawn with them anymore. Goodbye! How are we doing for oxygen now? Excellent. So yeah, this should be ready for next episode. But yes, um... That's about it. I could go into more details, and I'll try to touch base maybe a bit more in future episodes. Um, but some of the things I have been trying, or that have I, I found have been helpful, in case you're interested, or you suffer from pain and stuff like that. Over these years, I've learned a fair bit about, like, the human body. I'm nowhere near an expert or anything, but I'm becoming an expert of my own body and my own pain and all that. Um, so for me, a lot of my pain comes from basically just the muscles... So by almost ripping my head off, my body kind of panicked, and every muscle along my spine just tightened down to protect. And it's basically been doing that ever since the accident, and they've just never relaxed. So a lot of my pain comes from, like, referred pain or trigger points, if you're familiar. So a lot of referral up to my head, and that's kind of, that's kind of my pain. So... What I'm doing now, I've worked, I've done a lot of stuff with doctors and many, many things. Um, things that have helped me are injections. So for me, it was a spinal mechanical injury. I pulled and stretched a bunch of ligaments in my spine and neck and torso. Um, that combined with the shock of my body caused all those muscles to be kind of clamped down. Um, with my um, neck injury, it actually caused severe, la or not severe, but significant laxity in my neck that I could actually tell just by moving my neck around. It would clunk and lock up and sh send shooting pains up through my head. Um, that is now uh, vastly improved, and I would attribute that to um, prolotherapy as well as PRP injections that I've been getting down in the States, although they do them a bit different down there compared to up here in Canada. So those things have helped improve the like ligament and laxity issues in my spine. And then it's a matter of basically strengthening and retraining my body to not be in pain anymore. So that's where I'm at right now. And I'm spending a lot of my time doing a lot of exercise, basically. And it's a bit of a challenge with the headache because I have to capitalize on functional time and all that kind of stuff. So usually I wipe myself out doing all these little things to try to get myself better. And then I just don't have enough time to do any episodes or record or play any games at all really I'm dumping a lot of time into putting my body back together um, with the help of all that laxity stuff that's just kind of recently being being done so now that that is kind of secured and my body is structurally strong for the most part a few lingering things here and there perhaps but I think it's now just up to reconditioning the body and I used to be a, a fairly active individual fit so I'm trying to get back into that because these um, after the injury I basically wasn't able to do a lot of physical activity and I kind of degraded um, so I'm trying to basically get everything back I have found uh, yoga is actually incredibly good even though it 
can be hard and can be silly, but um, the actual like fundamentals and body mechanics of it all is amazing, and it's probably one of the best things you can do for an overall kind of body maintenance. So lifting weights is great, and physio is great, but it's very like targeted and like um, part specific, right? Physio your shoulder, physio your neck, physio your leg, whatever, right? Your knee, who knows? Uh, yoga is kind of attacks everything. The problem with yoga is if you are out of shape or in my case, all your muscles are basically tied into knots and you don't have much range of motion. Uh, yoga is pretty hard, but I've been dumping a lot of time into it and flexibility and stretching and all that kind of stuff. So it's actually getting quite good. And I'm noticing a lot of improvements just with that because I'm basically slowly transforming my body, but in the process as well, I'm taking away the pain. So as I'm able to unhinge and loosen muscles and get them to relax, and get them to stay relaxed, which comes from having like stable joints, which was like the, the ligament aspect, but also strength. So if you can have strength in all those little muscles in your shoulders and hips and all those, if they're strong and flexible instead of weak and tight, your range of motion goes up. And also you kind of preventing your body from getting injured in the future. So it's kind of an up and up. It's going to help me get back, hopefully fully functional, but it's also going to it's also going to um, prevent injury in the future. So overall, it'll put me in a good place. The other thing I've been doing is uh, meditation. I got into earlier this year, so I found that is surprisingly good as well. But yeah, that's kind of where I'm at. So good path, I think. So I will hopefully be able to continue to record some episodes for you guys. Take care. Bye bye.